about how sensory processing can affect picky eating mm -hmm. as far as all the different senses. But today I'm going to talk more about how behaviors can affect picky eating. Okay. Um, you know, as far as when you present a food to a child, if it's a brand new food, that is a lot of things to go into it. You know, it might look funny, it might the color of it, so they're just going to be more hesitant to try the food. Um, you know, if just in general, if it's a food that they don't like or they had it before, um, you know, they're going to be hesitant to try it again if they didn't like it. Does, um, it. does it matter, Heather, in a situation like that? Does it matter if it's a fruit or a vegetable? Or if it, I, I guess you hear so much about people don't want to eat, kids don't want to eat their vegetables. Yeah. Is a vegetable a more difficult thing that you have to dress up visually? Yeah, we usually do see the vegetables. The green vegetables are mm -hmm. usually the harder ones. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some kids surprise me though sometimes they love the vegetables and then they don't like you know the bread or the noodles so that those, some of those are I'm like oh it's surprising surprise to you <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so what do we, you say that the behaviors regarding foods tell me a little bit about that so basically um, the difference between sensory and behavior you can kind of tell when Sensory, if they're not liking the food, they are like hiding from it. They're not wanting to look at it. So the visual of it is, is disgusting yes. to them or turns them yes. off. Yes, the okay. smell, the, um, the sound, the anything. Okay. Behavior, it's more, they sh you show it to them and they're just like, eh, I don't want to. But then you can, you can get them to eat it right then mm -hmm. um, by doing different like strategies that I'll talk about. So. Okay. What, you know, what, yeah. are, what uh, allergies you also had that, or what strategies can be used to help as, as far as some of the things that you can strategize and get into your mind of how to get them to yeah. that level? Um, as far as the behavior, it's, it's kind of like tricking your child into eating it in a way. Um, so the first one I like to do is visuals. Okay. I can hold that up. Yeah. Basically just showing the child oh, how much, um, they'll want to eat or how much they have to eat or um, how many or what's coming next in okay. the visual. Okay. So kind of giving that child, okay, yeah, this is how many I need to eat and then I'm done. Okay. Um, so helping so that you child. give them a goal, something to shoot for. If yes. you just eat three of these, yes. we can move on. Yes, okay. definitely see progress with that. Um, okay. Another chart that you can do is presenting like different foods and then giving them like how many bites they have to eat of that food and then a big thing is having a motivator at the end. Ah, so sure. either a motivator of a preferred food or a preferred activity. Sure. If we um, do this, we can go to the park for yes, 20 minutes yes. tonight before bedtime. Yes. Gotcha. And even using that first then, you know, first let's bite a piece of carrot and then you get some fries or whatever okay. the preferred activity is. Gotcha. And then another We're down one. we a minute, so we better. Okay. Yep. Um, you can do games with kids to kind of distract them. Um, so then they're not really thinking about the food. They're just trying to play the game and like, oh, let's just eat a piece of food. Right. It's almost it's subconscious almost that they pop it in their mouth. Yeah. Mean. Okay, yeah. Because they're not like, oh, I didn't yeah. really like yeah. it. Um, some other ones are just visuals of things they can do with foods. Um, and then showing visuals so they can choose. They can be in control okay. of what they want. Okay. Is um, there a certain age group that, when do you start seeing that kids are picky? Oh, man. We, uh, from... A year? Young, yes, yeah. yes, from very young. Oh. And we want to try to target it sooner than later because once they get later, then it's just in their head they're not going to eat mm -hmm. that anymore. So. Well, you get the green vegetable thing in your mind that you don't like green vegetables. It's going to be hard for you to train, change that at yeah. any time. Quickly, this is where we can find Red Door Pediatric Therapy. You're in Bismarck and in Minot. Yep. Okay. There's a phone number. There's a website. We appreciate this. Always interesting talking yeah. about stuff like this. Monica's back. We'll be back to wrap things up on NDT right after this.